Nena Sagel, Peace and Plenty, another pair of works from those halcyon days of the 1950s are these Nena Sagels. The first is from 1950. Like her teacher Edades, Sagil rebelled against the Amorsolo standards of beauty. She depicts here a full-figured woman, an older, motherly one. Amorsolo specialized in maidens and never mothers. Here she is feeding chickens from a wide basket while the cycle of rice planting takes place in the distance, the hard business of threshing and winnowing. Four years later, Sagil would find herself in Europe, first in Spain for a study grant, and by the next year, she had devised a second scholarship, this time in Paris. She would stay for the rest of her life. This work marks another major transformation in the arc of her career, bold and geometric color that would foretell her more cosmic explorations. Our third artist from that dazzling mid-century modern period would be Jeremias Jerry Elizalde Navarro. J. Elizalde Navarro's The Silver Golden Machine is made of shaped Norwegian pine. It looks like it's ready to kick into gear. Dated 1957, it has a companion piece, although a much later work, called Black Machine. Both reveal his interest, like Luz, in both painting and sculpture. Also spectacular is a work titled Of Griffins and Gargoyles with the imprimatur of Don Henny Lopez, created in 1993. It still captures the verve and vitality of the 1950s.